Okay. All right. Hey, we're here again on theproform.com with Jessica Edwards. And Hi. Jessica, how you doing? We, I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing. I am doing. I'm, I'm so excited that we're going to get to talk about your system and your way of selling. We've been having this big old long discussion on the Pro Forum about Bo's method, and so now we get to counter. So we get to hear your method and how you do it, how you go about selling digital files, and how you go about your process. So let's just get right into it. Tell us right. about your system. Well, I want to start off by saying that I don't think there's any one way that works for everybody. My system works for me. You know, Bo's system may work for him, but there's not a one-size-fits-all deal here. So I think that if people kind of learn about all the pricing structures that are out there and pick and choose some things to incorporate in their own business, that's how you're going to be the most successful. Yep. So kind of want to preface with that. Well, I agree with that. That's, hey, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, people. This is not staged. <laughs> well, if you guys know, like follow me on Facebook, my cat photo bombs all my photo shoots. <laughs> so I guess he's video bombing too. <laughs> well, I mean, if it was one size fits all, then we'd all be Canon or we'd all be Nikon or, or whatever. And that's just, that's not the nature of the photography world. So I agree with that. Okay. Well, with um, my system, it's it's basically the exact opposite of Bose. You know, his is high volume, time on each client, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of go the opposite. I market toward the higher end. And by high end, I don't always mean the rich people because my best sales do not come from the richest people. My worst sell last year, actually it was the year before that, was to a surgeon's daughter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my best sell was to a farmer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you just, you don't know. So anyway, I market to the people who really value photography, who, you know, the seniors want to feel like a model for the day. They want the fame that comes along with being, you know, a Jess Edwards photography senior. Awesome. Because, you know, I, I kind of talk about them a lot on Facebook, you know, Instagram, all display, that sort of thing. So mm -hmm. that's my deal. Yes, I try to provide good images, but, uh, you know, I want them to have fun. But you I do want a fabulous to job at that, too, by the way, Thank I might add. You. Very, very, very awesome stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I... I do try to do that, but the extra thing that I try to do to set myself apart is to make them famous, you know, because that's kind of what these nowadays. So they want to be shared. Mm -hmm. okay. So anyway, so my structure, low volume, kind of high end. Mm -hmm. So my goal is about 50 seniors a year. Okay. So obviously, if I'm only going to shoot 50, I need to have a pretty good sales average for those 50. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't do 350 and do 50 kids and then, you know, make enough money to, to live off of. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so, um, okay, I do sell digital files. It's not the only thing that I offer, though. So I offer print collections, which are the cheaper collections, and then I offer digital collections. Mm -hmm. So... I offer all digital files or no digital files. I don't do anything in between. Mm -hmm. So I don't sell them, you know, 10 images for $1,000 or whatever. Okay. They get all or nothing. Okay. And the reasoning behind that is I have found that what parents want and what kids want is something of all the pictures mm -hmm. you know they don't they don't necessarily want an eight by ten of all of them but they want to be able to go back so with my pricing structure the only way they can see all the images or have all the images is in a digital collection okay so right. my digital files aren't affordable to everyone you know, I don't think it's uh, something that everyone should be able to afford. I price it kind of as a luxury item. Okay. So it's, my digital files start at $2,400. All right. So if they want something of every picture, that's their only option, or that's their cheapest option, I should say. Okay. So my so, digital files aren't something for everybody. It's, yeah. it's a high-end product. So that $2,400, though, gets some printable digital files or social media yes. digital files? 
printable digital files. No Jessica Edwards logo and all that stuff. I will put my logo on a few and I tag it to them on Facebook. What I do is I choose the ones that I want on Facebook. So I'll pick, you know, 10 or so. I'll resize them. I'll put my logo on them and I'll say, here's some social media files. Okay. Tag it to them on Facebook. And then I say, if you want to upload the rest of them, feel free to do that. I just ask them or as the caption, just say Jessica Edwards Photography. Okay, got it you. doesn't matter if my logo goes on that on those, and I usually pick their favorite ones anyway and put my logo on them. So most of the time, their favorites are already on there with my logo, mm-hmm. but they are printable files. Okay, got you. All right, that's. I just wanted to clarify that. Cool. Yeah. And, and I, I'm too lazy to resize them, so they're just they're full res. They are retouched, um, ready to go, and. I don't allow them to print anywhere. Now, of course, I'm not the print police, so I can't patrol this 24 hours a day. But what I do is I explain to them that they have a license to print through MPIX. And most of us know MPIX is the consumer version of Miller's. I use Miller's. And I explain to my clients, you know, that... MPIX is the consumer division of my professional lab. Mm-hmm. So if you want professional quality images, this is the only lab that will give that to you. Mm-hmm. And I even tell them this is the only lab that you're allowed to use because it's the only one that I know the quality is going to be. Okay. Kind of, um, it doesn't really make sense at first. I control that by not giving them a print release. Okay. The reason that I don't give them a print release is because they don't need one through MPIX. Right. But if they have a print release that has my logo on it and it says, you know, so-and-so is allowed to print their images through MPIX and it has my, my signature on it, I don't know if the worker at Walmart or Walgreens, are they even going to read it? Or right. are they just going to see the logo, see my signature, and let them print it? Okay. Gotcha. So if they have a piece of paper then it's more likely that they'll be able to you to go to Walmart or to go to any other consumer lab. So by not giving that to them, then that puts one step in there against them printing with the consumer labs. I've had a couple times people call me from Walmart and say, Hey, I'm at Walmart and I'm trying to print my pictures and you know they need a print release. And that's when I'll remind them, do you remember when I told you about MPICS? I gave you that card that explains, you know, how to order. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I lost my card. You know, can you send me that via email? So then I'll email them. And basically I give them a five-by-five five print. MPICS, why it's important, and basically how to use the site. Okay, gotcha. So yeah. this $2,400 that they pay... Mm-hmm. Is over and above. I'm assuming you have some sort of session fee or something like that. Yeah. My most popular session fee is two hundred fifty dollars, and uh-huh. it's two hours: an hour in the studio, an hour outdoors. Gotcha. And uh, so they pay their two fifty. Then, mm-hmm. then at this point, I'm just, I'm just want to put it in my brain. So they pay. My, here, I don't pay my two fifty. I go outside for an hour. I go inside for an hour. At this point, how is it that they first see the images? Well, I will post one sneak peek. Only one. And I know there's a huge discussion on whether you should even post one, right. whatever. I post one. It always gets ordered. I mean, like 95 times out of 100, it gets ordered. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. Right. So I do post one sneak peek on Facebook. And then uh, they don't see any other images until they come into the studio for their ordering session. Okay. So they have an ordering session. And you do a little yep. slideshow. And you and right. now you like this one or you like this one? You like this one or right. you like this one? That kind of stuff. Okay. And you're like, oh, my God, I feel like I'm at the eye doctor. Yeah, you know, exactly. that all the time. A, yeah. zil- a gazillion so, times. Animoto slideshow. Mm-hmm. Arrow down. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So a little Animoto slideshow. And then, then I'm sorry. Um, you kind of broke up just like there for half a second. You said you do an Animoto slideshow and then what? And then use Pro Select. Pro Select. To, and, yeah. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. My connection stinks, so I may cut out a few times. Yeah, that's no problem. So, all right. So, Pro Select, they're sitting there and they go, well, you know, I mean, good God Almighty. I mean, it's going to cost me $2,000 if I get everything I wanted. I mean, can't I just get the digital files? You say, sure. $2,400 and you get them all. Yep. Yep, I say, sure, they start at this collection, 
you know, you have three different digital collections that you can choose from. We do have a payment plan. The way my payment plan works is that once 50% is paid, I'll place your order with the lab. And once it's paid in full, you can pick up your images or I can mail them to you free of charge. And you can take as little or as much time as you want to pay it off. Okay. So that's kind of my payment plan. Gotcha. Scale. So wait, you just said you have three different digital collections. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, wait, you just, but didn't you say just a second ago that they can only get all the digital files? They, yes. They all include all the digital files. So much. They wait, get, like, wait, you did that cut out again. My okay. cheapest, she was about to say. My that. cheapest one includes all the digital files. Okay, 2400. So, yep, and okay. um, it get, they get a really nice case, mm-hmm. you know, for the either DVD or USB drive, whichever they choose. But they also get a 4 by 6 of every picture in an image box. Okay. So basically, I want them to have a print of everything and a digital file of everything. Yeah, so they can see what's good. Exactly. So they can kind of see, this is how the image is supposed to look. So if they do somehow go to Walmart and print or they print on their home computer, they have something to compare it to and go, wow, this looks like crap compared to what it's supposed to look like. Plus, sometimes parents don't care about the the digital files. Parents want the prints. Uh, Move, cat. Okay. So parents want the prints. Yes. Um, So it's giving the senior what they want, digital files for social media. They, They often don't even want the digital files to print. Right. You know, most people think, oh, my God, they're going to print everything and yeah. they're never going to order. That's not always the case. Yes. Okay, and the parents want that re- uh, that sort of thing, so they want the image box with all the 4 by 6s in it. Okay, so that's so 2400 to- Now, what's the second one? Okay, the second one is all of that. So they get the digital files, the USB case, the image box, and the 4 by 6s So they get everything that's in that first package. But they also get a print collection. And print collections are like 8 by 10s and smaller. Gotcha. So they do have the ability to print at MPIX if they want. But some people have more money than time. Mm -hmm. Or they're like, I know myself. I know that I'll never get these printed. So I'm just going to go ahead and order this middle package and get all my prints taken care of. Okay, got it. And then the big one? And then the big one is um, I include a, a 10 by 10 press book. Okay. And 50 graduation invitations and 50 double-sided wallets. Okay, got it. And All that, right. and that uh, let's see, it's twenty twenty-three ninety-five, twenty. Shoot, I forgot. I have to pull up my my pricing menu. Hang on. It's okay. I remember the first one. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what the other ones are. Um. Okay, so while you're looking that up, you also, I assume, someone says, you know what, that was, no, I really don't want the digital files. That's entirely too much money. All I want is, you know, a bunch of 8 by 10s and 5 by 7s and some wallets and some stuff. And you'll obviously be happy to sell them that. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those are my print collections, and they range from $545 to basically $1,800. Okay. Got it. And it depends on how many different images they want. The more variety they want in their images, the more expensive that package is. Gotcha. So going back to the digital files, um, $23.95 is the standard digital, which is just the digital files, the case, the 4 by 6 is in the image box. The most popular digital is $32.45, and that's the name of it. In reality, the standard digital is the one that I sell the most. Mm -hmm. But the middle package is named most popular digital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, So everything that the other package comes in plus plus a print collection. And then the biggest collection is Mm $47.95. That's the one that includes the 10 by 10 book, the 50 graduation invitations. And I said earlier 50 double-sided wallets. It's actually 100 double-sided wallets. I'm looking at my pricing menu here. That's cool. All right. All right. That makes total sense. Um, and and I believe you said that, if I'm recalling that thread, you're averaging around a couple of thousand bucks per senior or not. Are you Can okay? you back that because you cut out? Can okay. You say sorry that? about that. Sorry. Uh, I, and I think I recall from the thread that you said you are averaging about 2,000 per senior or something like that or not. In the for the class of 2014, I'm at like 20... I said it in the thread, and I can't remember now yeah. what it is. I think it's twenty six fifty okay. or twenty four fifty. But I'm all about being completely honest. I've been on maternity leave, 
So that's only like half of the seniors that I normally do. Right. So last year for all 50 something seniors, I was at around 23, 2400. Okay. I was cool. looking at, but it's, it's lower for last year because I had like 50 something seniors to compare it to. Whereas right. this year I only shot like 20 or 25 before I went on maternity leave. Right. Now it, I, um, and and then not to keep connecting this back to the bow thing, but your okay. two, your two hundred and fifty dollars mm-hmm. session fee that you charge, they literally get nothing for that except for your expertise. Exactly. Okay. And what I tell the client is, they get their two hour photo shoot, they get unlimited clothing changes, they order, and they get their custom um, ordering session. Okay. So. That's what I tell the client. But, yeah, basically they just get their photo shoot. That's gotcha. it. Yeah. But gotcha. my session fee is to kind of pre-qualify my clients. Right. Because, you know, there's budgets from $50 all the way up to $5,000. Yeah. And if I have a $50 session fee, almost anybody can afford that. Mm-hmm. But they may be disappointed when they see that my collections are so expensive. So if they're willing to give me $250 just for my time, basically, then more likely they're going to spend more money uh, on their collection. Yeah, that makes no, I, that makes perfect sense. But what I want to do is, again, I'm not trying to defend anybody or anything, That's but okay. in, in the thread you made a, co- a, a connection or a comparison to um, the fact that you, if you did it Bo's way, you'd have to do how mm-hmm. many, I don't know, I don't know, 500 sessions or something like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. But that is, you know, it's the same thing. If someone was to present, you know, your idea and say, wow, $250 for the session fee, what if they don't order anything? And, well, what if they don't buy the digital files? And, and what if, and, you know, that's, that's notorious. Photographers are notorious for what if. I mean, we've, I mean, I've been around this industry forever, and it, it's like every everybody has a what if, and it's like, well, what if the grandma's dead and the grandfather got remarried, <laughs> and and then they nobody buys anything because, and it's like, my God, that's a big what if, you know? I mean, the realities are people don't do that. So the same thing with Bo's system. The reality, he may say he's not interested in selling prints, but the reality is he's gonna sell prints. I mean, it, it's gonna happen. So I mean. That that's kind of an unfair to me comparison to say, oh, well, I have to do 500 sessions. You wouldn't because you would sell prints. But I, I do understand, especially when you when you look at your entire system, why someone with your system would be like, well, you know, man, I'm not. That would be dumb for me. It would be completely idiotic for you to <laughs> adopt a, a system like his because, man, I can imagine your customers, especially the ones from previous years you go three hundred fifty dollars okay be like what the hell <laughs> yeah, so used to pay in 250 and then all of a yeah. sudden well now i get 350 and you and you handed me a box of pictures i mean a, a a cd with all the the files on it my god they would just like i think they'd string you up you know i mean it would be bad <laughs> So uh, it makes perfect sense. Can you say that again? You cut out. Sorry. I said I could understand why it would be bad. I think your customers yeah. would string you up. They probably would. <laughs> it would be horrible. So, yeah, it makes perfect sense why that your – when you compare your system, I guess that's the ultimate reason why I wanted to do this mm-hmm. is because of the fact that if there is somebody out there and their goal – as a young, let's say someone who's a young photographer got no plan whatsoever, but their goal is to shoot 50 seniors a year and make a living off of shooting 50 seniors mm-hmm. a year, I might add. Not at the same time have their, you know, day job where they're sure. a, a heart surgeon, you know. <laughs> um, or a wedding photographer. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. No, I agree with that. And their goal is to shoot 50 weddings a year. I mean, back to weddings, <laughs> shoot 50 seniors a year and make a living at it, you're mm-hmm. going to have to adopt some kind of a plan where you make enough money. And right. and that's what I appreciate about it, your your plan. It would allow someone to do that if, if, and this is the me, to me the big, huge monster if, because I'm, I'm thinking about Michael Kohlberg. I know him personally too. And Michael's a great shooter. He does fantastic work. And... I know his wife, and I know their plan, and I know their system, because we've talked about it in the past many, many years ago, and over and over again on the pro forum a gazillion times, that 
what happens when, okay, fabulous, we're, I'm charging my 250 sitting fee, and sure, I would love to sell $2,500, $2,400 all the digital files, but people walk in, and they ain't got that. What, you know, in some areas, people just don't have that kind of money to spend on senior pictures. I, I know there are, I can think of a, several people in my area that do have the funds, you know, but I can think of some by the same token that would absolutely freak out by that. Oh, people do here. I mean, and I do want to say something about that because I hear that a lot. I hear in my area, people won't spend that. In my area, in my area, in my area. I want to know where's this, where's this city that all the successful photographers are living in with all the rich people? That's, that's where, where I Dean, want That's, that's <laughs> Dean's area. That's Dallas, yeah. <laughs> Dallas, Dean. maybe Tulsa, something like that. But, you know, <laughs> okay. That's it. I mean, it's wait, wait, a wait, small say that again. little. Do it again. Say I said it again. I live in Lamar, Missouri. Mm -hmm. It's forty five hundred people. Mm -hmm. It's a farming community. Mm -hmm. It's not a rich area. If you go to Wikipedia, you'll see that the average household income is less than thirty thousand dollars a year. Okay, that's pretty significantly less than the you know U.S. average. Okay, and I still do good averages here. Yeah. And again, my clients aren't rich. Mm -hmm. They're really not. They drive used cars. They have houses that maybe have been in their family for a long time. They live within their means. Mm -hmm. So they can either save up money or I don't know what they do. They could put it on a credit card. I'm not their spending. I'm not the spending police. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, if they, they want to go in debt to have great pictures of their kids, who am I to say that they shouldn't do that? Yes. So I do want to say that, and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but I do feel like it's a cop out when the only reason someone says they can't charge more, whatever more is, it doesn't have to be $2,400, just whatever more is, when they say it's because of the area. Because I live in a really, really poor area. All my clients come from tiny little towns in Missouri, tiny little towns in Kansas. Not a whole lot of money. When I started my studio, now my prices weren't quite as high then, of course, but I started it in, in the Appalachian Mountains, you know, in eastern Kentucky. So if anybody knows anything about the Appalachian area in eastern Kentucky, they know that it's very, very poor. You know, my county that I started my business in was 17 on the list of poorest counties in the whole country. Mm -hmm. You know, the average family income for a year is $18,000. Mm -hmm. $18,000 a year for the whole family. So we're talking super, super, super poor. And, you know, when I first started, I was selling my digitals for $600. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that was a lot at the time. Um, of course, it's a lot more than that now because my quality has gone up, you know, my, my experience, that sort of thing, my, my reputation. But if I can start out in an area that has an average income of $18,000 a year and charge sixteen or $600 for digital, than you know, 150 or 350 or whatever their number is. Mm -hmm. So a long way of saying, don't blame your area. Okay, uh, yeah, I accept I think that. A lot more goes into it. In 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 a nutshell, what you're saying is, before you say it won't happen, the question is, have you tried it? Exactly. Right? Okay, I, I accept that. No, I accept that 100. percent So again, let let me um. Let me put it this way, too. Think about this. If, if someone is finding that their customers are all but demanding, demanding that they somehow get digital files from you, mm -hmm. you what are you suggesting to that photographer? Uh, I suggest that they sell the digital files if they're comfortable with that, but sell they... it for at least okay. what they want their average to be. Okay. Their average or higher. Like, I'm happy with my average at 2000 to $2,200. Like, I'm happy with that. So, my smallest digital package is $2,400. Because mm -hmm. not everybody's going to buy that. Some people are going to spend less. So, I want my average to be right around. If you said something, I didn't hear. No, yeah, I know you, you cut. You want your average, I heard, I, I put two and two together. You want your average to be, a, 
you want to sell the digital files for what you want to average. Yes. That's great. No problem. Or so, more. Or more. Yeah, just to give myself a cushion there. Yes. So I, so for the so for the, the the young photographers, the starting out photographers out there, they need to come up with a number, mm-hmm. whatever that number is, and say this is what right. I want to average, and that's what they should be selling their digital files for. Exactly, or more, or more. at okay. least that. Okay. Now, for the old photographers out there, mm-hmm. the old established guy who's been doing it for a gazillion years, who realizes that film is a four letter word that start with starts with F. And, <laughs> And used to love film and, and miss his film and all that stuff, who now looks at his business and says, hey, you know what? I, I did 100 seniors two years ago, and then last year I did 90 seniors, and so far this year it looks like I'm end up around 80 seniors. And then he looks back 10 years ago and he says, my God, I was making $2,500 a senior 10 years ago, and now I'm barely pulling off $1,000, Okay. Let's say that that's his scenario. And he sees just photographer, I mean, customer after customer after customer coming in going, well, I, I, I just got to have these digital files. I need these digital files. And he says no, or let's say he sells them or whatever the case may be. But he, it's constantly declining. So I, I, I'm going to throw this at you. Mm-hmm. You say you want to do 50 seniors. You mm-hmm. say you want to average around $2,000 or plus dollars per senior. Next right. year comes along. You only did 45 seniors, but you average all of a sudden 1,800. The next year, it comes along. Now you did 40 seniors, and the average dropped to 1,500. The next mm-hmm. year comes along, and, and you're, you, know, you did 35 seniors this year. No matter what you did, I mean, you marked the snot out of it. You've done all that. You know, you found out you know, the kids moved from Instagram to, I don't know, Kirk Vauclaingram, right? And that's where they're <laughs> hanging out now, all right? Well, wherever they are, I mean, you're doing it. You're keeping up. You're fresh. You, you know, you're wearing the cool clothes or whatever that happens to be. Whatever it takes, you're doing all those things. But every year it appears to be declining. Pretend that has now happened to you. Okay, you just cut out, so I'm going to keep talking. Yeah, okay. I took a big yeah. pause because I saw you cut out. So yeah. pretend that happens to you. Okay. What you going to do? Well, that's not an easy question, uh-huh. not at all, especially when you said I've done everything right, uh-huh. you know, because that's where I was going to go, you know, find out who is doing well, you know, and what are they doing? Don't no. copy, of course, what they're doing. No, I understand that. But, you know, the argument is going to be, oh, it's the M wax and it's the it's the pop wax and it's the everybody mm-hmm. who's given away the digital files. They two hundred dollars mm-hmm. and they get a CD. That's going to be the argument. I'm going to tell you right now yeah. uh, without even asking. That's what people are going to say. Or it's the the latest thing, you know, for years. I'm, and that little scenario that I just described is not me per se, but sure. I have I have gotten to the point some of it is by design, to where I do less seniors than I used to do. I mean, at one time, I'd do 600 seniors in a year. Now, all I wanted, I only want 100. Last mm-hmm. year, I did 100. The year before, I did 90-something, 90 97, I think. You know, so it's, yeah. I'm, I'm happy in my place. But I, the, my thing with all this is I am very cautious, constantly looking at the industry. I mean, at the PPA convention, I did a class, and the number of photographers who come up to me and said, well, Kirk, you, you still seeing everything wonderful, Kirk? Uh, your numbers are still good, Kirk. You still want everything, and I'm like, no. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that because, man, I'm this and it's that and it's down, and it's horrible and it's doom and it's gloom. And I'm like, whoa. I mean, so I mean, you sit up and you pay attention when a, when enough people some sure. say that kind of thing. Well, that so that's going to be the argument. And for years, I ask seniors. So let me ask you something. If someone doesn't come to me, where do they go? And it's a great way of getting their input is to say, oh, it's Jessica Edwards. You should see her mm-hmm. stuff. It's beautiful. Well, shoot, I'll go check out Jessica Edwards and see what, it, what is it that she's doing that's so wonderful, right? Right. The new hot thing among seniors that I photograph when I say, so if someone don't come to me, where do they go? You know, uh, the, so-and-so, we have a friend who did them mm-hmm. with their phone. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And they say, no, but that's why I'm here, because I didn't like the way they looked. Right. You know? And I'm like, I, I just can't believe that answer. They did them with their phone? It, it just cracks hmm. me up. So, like I said, 
Yeah, I, I can appreciate it was a hard answer. I, I didn't tell you ahead of time I was going to ask you that question. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, that is the dilemma that I think some photographers find themselves in. They, they, my, thing, my thing is that there are, are always going to be people that's looking for the best. Like No matter how bad the economy is, no matter what the trend in photography is, there's going to be some people who's looking for the best. I'm not saying that I'm the best, but I'm going to put myself out there like I am. Okay. And my prices are going to make it seem like I am. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. And, and I'm guilty of this myself. Sometimes I'm shopping on you know eBay or Amazon or whatever and Whatever I'm looking for is really important to me, you know, and um, I want to buy the best out there and I'm willing to invest in it. What do I do? I sort by price because in my head, the most expensive ones are likely going to be the best ones. Mm -hmm. So other people think like that, too. So I'm not saying it's an easy thing to do, but if you have a high end business model, you Okay, you know, either if you're the senior or the mom, if you're the senior, you're like, I want the best senior pictures out there. I want better than my friends. I cool. want, you know, all my friends to be jealous. Mm -hmm. Well, people are going to, how do you figure that out? You know, it's hard to, to see quality, or at least for consumers, it's hard to see quality. So what else do they have to look at mm -hmm. besides price? Right. So if I'm more expensive than someone down the road, and they are wanting the best, they're going to assume that I'm it. Mm -hmm. So that's been my goal is to be the name brand of photography. You know, I don't want to be the Equate brand, you know, the generic Walmart. Like, I don't want to be that mm -hmm. because basically I'm lazy and I don't want to photograph a lot. Mm -hmm. So I want to do, you know, 50 seniors or so and make as much money as I can off of those 50 seniors. Yes. So... I want to be the coach, the Gucci, the Prada, mm -hmm. you know. But if you have prices, if you have Walmart prices or Sears prices, then nobody's going to, or the people who want luxury, they're not going to come to you. Mm -hmm. And I use the If Walmart started carrying coach bags, do you think the women who can afford coach bags will buy them anymore? No. No. They're going to start buying, you know, Louis Vuitton bags or oh, whatever yeah. that is, isn't offered at Walmart. No, I agree with that 100%. I really yeah. do. So you can be a fantastic photographer, but if you price yourself with the masses, people are going to assume the quality is going to be with the masses. Mm -hmm. And those people who want luxury, those people who want the best, aren't going to come to you. They may pick a photographer that's not as good because they're more expensive because they want to be able to say, oh, I went to Kurt Boclain or I went to Jessica Edwards. It's mm -hmm. a status symbol. No, I agree with that. No, I agree. That's a good answer. I, I appreciate that. I really do. So, yeah. Awesome. What else you got to add? Um, okay, so one of the comments that Bo made, and I don't even think it was in his thread. I think it was in a, a different one, but it was on the same topic, was that... My business model is only for a few people, but for the masses, he thought the, you know, low cost, high volume was the answer. Because... Say it again. Say it, I, say it again. The last thing I heard you say was the answer. I, I couldn't disagree with that more. Okay. That, you know, the low, vo the low price, high volume is the answer for the masses of photographers, which I, I think is is a statement that he made because, you know, I'm going to use myself as an example. The high school, the largest high school in our whole county, we have about 100 or 115 seniors. So it's not a lot. So we've got four or five high schools in the county. That's the largest one. Okay. So if I went with the high volume model, let's say his, let's say, you know, $350. Well, I would have to photograph like what, five or six times the amount of seniors. I think I figured it out, and it was like 300 and something seniors is what I would have to photograph. Yes. That's probably all of the seniors in my whole county. Mm -hmm. Okay, And that's just me. That's just me to be able to make the same amount of money I made last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, What about the dozen other photographers that are in this area? What if they, the masses, what if they also adopted the same model? Mm -hmm. We don't have enough seniors to go around. You know, if you live in an area like Tulsa, 
these high schools in the whole country, mm-hmm. maybe it would work. Yeah. You know, maybe. Yeah. But I don't think the low price, high volume is the answer for the masses. It is a good model for some. It is. I'm not saying it won't work. It can never work. I'm not saying that at all. I just think we have to have a good variety. We have to have the high-end photographers. We have to have the low-end photographers. And we have to have people in the middle because budgets are kind of all over the place. Yeah. But it, numbers don't add up. If we're all high volume, where are all these kids going to come from? There's right. not going to be enough pieces of the pie to go around. Yeah, that makes sense. No, I agree. Yeah, cool. Good. Well, awesome. I appreciate this more than you can imagine. Really Sorry did. for all the cutouts. Oh, hey, I think it's going to work. I, I, I was able to piece it together. So, I mean, Real internet isn't yeah. the best. Yeah, so. I understand. <laughs> I was able to piece it together and understand. When I didn't understand, I had you repeat it, and I, okay, I think good. you got it. So, it's all good. Hey, thank you again so much for doing this. I really, really, really appreciate it. And we'll be talking on the pro forum for sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. All right.